Okay, welcome to today's video everyone. If z plus 1 over z is equal to k, where k is a real number, find the locus of z. Okay, so the way to do this question is we need to deal with this expression here and try and simplify it a little bit and get z equals some expression. So we have, let's just write this again, z plus 1 over z equals k. Okay, now let's make this into a quadratic in terms of z. So if we multiply through by z, then you get z squared plus 1 equals kz, and then z squared minus kz plus 1 equals 0. Okay, now we want to have z equals some expression. So we can apply the quadratic formula to get z equals k plus or minus the square root of k squared minus 4 all over 2. Okay, so we know that z equals this expression, but we have two different cases. We have the case where this expression under the third could be greater or equal to 0, or we could have the case where it's less than 0. So first let's consider the case where it's greater than 0. So case 1, k squared minus 4 is greater than or equal to 0. Now, if k squared minus 4 is greater than or equal to 0, what do we have? We have that z is real. If this is greater than 0, then we're going to have some real number. So if z is real, then this is going to take the whole real line. So therefore, locus of z is the real axis. Okay. Now, what about case 2? Well, case 2 is k squared minus 4 is less than 0. Okay, now, if it's less than 0, what can we say? We can say that, first of all, we can say that 4 minus k squared is greater than 0. And so, therefore, z equals k plus or minus, now here we have k squared minus 4. Now I'm going to factor out a minus 1 from this, and you'll see why in a moment. Minus 4 minus k squared, all over 2. Okay, now, we just said that this up here was positive, so we can split this up into the square root of minus 1 times the square root of 4 minus k squared. But of course we know that the square root of minus 1 is i. So we're going to have i times the square root of 4 minus k squared over 2. So that's what z is equal to. But, since z is some arbitrary complex number, we can say let z equal x plus i y. Okay, so if z equals x plus i y, then x plus i y is equal to k divided by 2 plus or minus i times the square root of 4 minus k squared divided by 2. And so we can equate the real and imaginary parts. We're going to get x equals k on 2 and y equals the square root of 4 minus k squared on 2. And now, what do we have? We have two parametric equations where the parameter is k. And remember, k was a, just a real number. So we can say from here that k is equal to 2x, and we can call this equation 1, and we can call this equation 2, and substitute 1 into 2. And this is what we get going to get y equals, oh, that should be plus or minus, 
plus or minus the square root of 4 minus now k squared will be squaring 2x when we square 2x we're going to get 4x squared all over 2 multiply these two up here we get 2y equals plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 4x squared now we're going to square both sides and by doing that we get rid of this plus or minus here so we're going to get 4y squared equals 4 minus 4x squared now you can see we can cancel off a 4 we're going to get y squared is 1 minus x squared we rearrange and we get x squared plus y squared equals 1 x squared plus y squared equals 1 and so therefore the locus of z which is x plus iy is the unit circle x squared plus y squared equals 1 okay so the main trick here was to identify that when we got to this stage we had to consider the two different cases namely when k squared minus 4 which was the expression under the radical was greater than or equal to 0 and when it was less than 0 and then we had to work out the two loci from there okay thanks for watching